tell me what immediately comes to mind when you think about SCA. Oh boy, that's... I think I probably could write a couple of memoirs. <laughs> you learn how to tell stories and then there's all this other stuff they throw at you. You feel like you're a part of something. Clearly that was the mecca. It was the backyard of this entertainment industry. It has a notoriety. Everyone who's anyone in Hollywood went to USC. You know, you go to USC, you're part of the best. Hi, my name is Tim Story. Jay Roach, I'm a director and a USC alum. Kevin Feige, I'm the president of Marvel Studios. And I uh, went to the USC Film School. So what do you do? I'm a professional Hollywood animator. I'm a writer. I'm a picture editor. I'm studying film production. In cinema and media studies. Media arts and practice. Interactive entertainment. The virtual reality. Why did you choose USC? So there are a number of things. The first and foremost is the alumni. In the industry, we always knew that USC was the largest, oldest cinema school. I mean, it started in the silent era, and a lot of very famous people had come out of USC. From George Lucas to John Singleton, it was eclectic, there were all sorts of people. USC kept popping up for two reasons. Number one, it was the top video game school in the country, and number two, it established itself as a breeding ground for meaningful video games. Also aware of the fact that they've worked on the very latest equipment. You guys are using the equipment that we use. How are the professors? Oh my god, how many Oscar winners are like in this building? Between all of them. I don't know how many Emmys there are. There are professors who are really influential, also who are working today and can become mentors and advisors. You get to have Leonard Malton as a teacher, it's crazy. You're never going to forget a Dr. Casper class, and you're never going to forget a Dr. Todd Boyd class. Notorious PhD. Would you say that Drew Casper was the toughest teacher that you had at USC? I can handle Casper, I can't handle 290. That was rough. 290s are the best. You're presenting in this class on this day, so it's got to be great. I have a hard time working in other mediums because I look at everything in life like a video game. I ended up making a film entirely in The Sims 3. That's the coolest thing about media arts and practice. Essentially, we're at the front lines of innovation. It's awesome because the cinema school really gives you all of the tools that you need to succeed in virtual reality. To make awesome VR projects, you need animators, you need producers, you need cinematographers, you need Unity developers. You're in there with some production students, some animators, some screenwriters. You're thrown into a group and you have to make a film. You start to realize there's a natural selection when it comes to who's cut out to being in the movie business. Because at the end of the day, you're sunburned, you've eaten 18 gallons of pretzels, and there's some people who are like, just drive me home. How long is this gonna be again? Oh, about four minutes, maybe. Get me out of here. And then there are other people. Okay, what time tomorrow? 5.30? In three hours? I'll see you then. Every film, and I'm sure that this is still true, seemed to be made on such a shoestring that you had to find ways around things. We decided that for one of the shots in the thesis film, we needed to set a car on fire. You needed, uh, a car to, to blow up, and so we did. You know, we were able to put the fire out and get the hell out of there, but I, I wouldn't recommend, you know, setting anything on fire. It's probably a good place to draw the line. USC is really the place to come if you want to study TV. So many of the professors had a career here in television, and that's where I wanted to be. I like the format of doing things as if we're in a writer's room. And given that our professors are professional showrunners, they know how to do that. One of the very first places I found like a really thriving working community was USC Comedy. They started analyzing a script in a way I'd never thought of before. It's hard to explain, but the experience of making films professionally is not that different than making films at a student level. You're dealing with the same sort of drama, the same sort of personalities, the same sort of difficulties that you are at film school. The scale's just a little bit different. USC is a great microcosm of the industry. I think the school prepares them terrifically for that step of the summer internships. That was the last resume I ever filled out because that internship led to my entire career. In the industry, you're not gonna be able to control everyone you work with, but you have to be able to adapt and understand how someone thinks. USC really prepares you for that because you have to do it the entire time you're here. Do you think USC helped you? I owe everything to my experience here at USC, not necessarily because of the institution itself, but because of the people that make up the institution. It's one of the many reasons that I feel such a strong bond to the school. You get to Hollywood and you think there's this big wall and you gotta climb over it. You think, I'm never gonna be able to get over that wall. Well, 
You don't have to do it by yourself. We're all going to gang up and we're all going to walk through together. People are rooting for you. People are wanting you to do good. There was just this thing about USC students that we kind of just really look out for each other. For, for sure, there is a vast network of alumni that it's, again, the giving back and the encouragement and the mentorship of everything. It's also, too, the student has to live up to that degree and the reputation that the school has and be a representative of the school. Do a hustle. Do a USC hustle. Because they hustled the student to come, and the student probably had to hustle to get in here. Keep it going. What gives a Trojan graduate a stamp of caliber is that I know that if they went through this program, they're very focused. They got exposed to some of the finest minds in this business. I couldn't imagine if I had gone somewhere else. I had no idea where I would be now because what has happened to me is so directly related to, to coming here. I remember thinking when I, when I finally got in, I've made it. And of course you haven't made it just by getting to SC, but it's a hell of a first step. Did you find that there are common SCA characteristics? Hmm. Well, we're definitely weird. <laughs> we literally skipped from our dorm room to Norris singing the Singing in the Rain soundtrack. It was fabulous. If they have tools in Mars, then they probably steal our curriculum. This is the best school in the universe.